And we turn now to the latest on the tragedy out of South Korea. More than 150 people were killed during a Halloween celebration, crushed to death in a narrow alleyway. At least two Americans are among the dead, and there are growing questions as to how this happened. ABC's Rena Roy has the latest. Horror during a Halloween celebration in Seoul over the weekend. A crowd crush leaving at least 154 dead and over 149 injured in the neighborhood of Itaewon. The tragedy becoming one of South Korea's deadliest disasters. Oh my God. Many were toppled over by the surge. Oh my God, oh my God. I just saw in front of me this mass of people running and pushing and screaming and, and like panicking. At least two Americans are among the dead. Anne Giesk, a nursing student from the University of Kentucky, and Stephen Blessy, also studying abroad, his father speaking out in an interview. I feel like I have a hole in me, a big hole in my chest. Blessy says he talked to his son before he went out that night. I texted him through WhatsApp, said, I know you're out and about, but be safe. I love you. We started calling his uh, phone to the What Up app over and over and over, just continually for like two hours, where finally a police officer uh, answered. Australian Nathan Taverniti tried to save his friend, but was unable to. I just was grabbing her hand, saying, I'm going to get you out. <laughs> but then she disappeared. A week of national mourning has been declared in South Korea, a growing memorial at this scene with people leaving flowers and messages for those who were lost. Police have acknowledged there were not enough officers on hand to control the crowd, saying there were only 137 officers on duty for the roughly 100,000 partygoers. 